well guys the season has finished finally and did we manage to stay up did we manage to get just enough points so we can keep ourselves in the league let's find out right guys i have very briefly come back early because we are just about to play norwich and if we beat Norwich and Fulham don't win, we're officially safe in the league. And just before we kick off this game, though, we have had a fun month with Dean Scarlett injured. We've also had Lakaviti out for a while. And if I remember rightly, Morgan Gibbs-White is out for the rest of the season. Um, I even played a friendly against PSG's B team just so I could come back and say that I beat PSG and we managed to lose that um so it, it it really hasn't been easy but let's get straight into the game we have travers in goal toffolo on the left gibson and ourselves in the middle Castina on the right we have grimes miranda smallbourne archer and johnson i will however because i think he's earned it Castina is on his way back from injury so i will start kane because i don't think he's done too bad in there Let's get straight to it. Let's go and get this victory. No messing about. Positive mentality. I do just want to change one thing uh, on the basis that I want him to be in attacking. And if I make him defensive, I know it might seem a bit daft, but it means to hold in the middle field a bit better and doesn't not encourage to run up. Only our box to box midfielder will go up with the attackers. And we could possibly be 1 0 down already after a minute and a half. Fantastic. Luckily, that was disallowed, but that is an early warning that we really need to get ourselves together. So this is our highlight now. Can we do anything with it? With Grimes there? Nope, nothing comes of that. The highlight is still going after all this time, and it nearly cost... Norwich have really come flying out the trap. So the game we are looking at today is the Fulham game. That's the result we need to keep an eye on. If we better Fulham's result, I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do. Um, we are officially safe, but we need to do our business first. There is a lot of early highlights here, Ron, which isn't too bad. Shows the end-to-end -end action. I mean, in the last episode, the end-to-end -end action was not so great because a lot of end-to-end -end action, but no goals, and that was against Southampton. So hopefully, this one's a bit fun. Fantastic save. This one's a bit better, but I meant goals for us, not for them. But that was an absolutely fantastic save. Ooh. They are up for this today. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're already safe. Here they are with another highlight. Can we do anything with this highlight? I feel like we need to be doing better than this. We're not we're not holding it up very well, are we? We have got a few players back from injury, but I'm not going to start them. Purely because they've got absolutely no match sharpness. So I feel like as much as they may be better ability-wise than we have on the pitch, they're either going to get injured again, or they're just not going to be sharp enough to, to, to effectively, to, well, to affect the game. And the Fulham game is still nil-nil. I mean, we are only 20 minutes into the game, so there's no panic just yet, but... We haven't had any clear-cut chances, and they seem to be getting closer. I have just changed it so we can work that ball into the box a little bit. Maybe that'll encourage us to take the ball up the pitch a little bit more rather than just get near the goal and just do what we want. <coughs> I mean, I've just... Travis just got the man in the match against Chelsea in a nil-nil draw that we somehow managed to pull off. And then he goes and does that. Fantastic recovery there to get the ball. We now need to get that ball moving up the pitch. Doesn't I don't understand these ideas. I mean, we're playing the long ball up, which I didn't ask it to do. So maybe if I drop to slight to shorter passes, it will start. It'll, it'll discourage us from trying these long balls, which aren't very successful because we don't have very very tall strikers. So. I mean, that was just silly. Just stood there and let the ball disappear. 
I have no words for what I actually just did there. I'll have even less if it costs us a goal. Well, I'll have a lot more words, but they won't be pleasant ones. We just look. We look almost hopeless. I mean, oh, there we go. There we go. There's that. There it is. I mean, to be fair, it's been coming. They've deserved it, this team. We've looked absolutely awful. And you wouldn't think we're a win away from, from safety at this rate. They look all over us. Absolutely doing fantastic, Norwich. They're all over us. Another highlight still going on. There's been a lot of highlights, and we're just not. I mean, can we do anything? Nope. We really can't do anything against this team at the moment. I mean, Chelsea have scored great, but... So we have it straight into the second half. No messing about. Told the lads off. Simply wasn't good enough. We need to do better in the second half. I mean, maybe even a draw could be good enough to, for the safety today. But we haven't even looked close to a clear-cut chance. Never mind a draw. I think uh, maybe holding Miranda back in there was a silly idea. I will put him as supportive and maybe he'll push up a little bit more. Which is kind of the opposite of what I said at the, at the beginning of this episode, but... Something has to change because we look abysmal this game. There's a highlight here for them again. It's just... I don't really have any words at the moment. We're really not stepping up to this. This team is not built for the big... Oh, you come on. What was that? What an absolute waste. I mean, we're not even winning the second balls and really not putting the pressure on that we need to put on. All we need is one goal. Let's go back to square one. A couple of substitutions made. Hopefully, maybe they can make a difference. Toffolo is finally back on the pitch after a short period of time out. Uh, not Toffolo, sorry, for Fujimoto. And may nearly had instant impact. Gonna have to do something for a lot of for a lot of midfield players. We do we're just letting them run through the middle. Ah, just letting. There's too much time in that midfield. Come on, can he do something with it? I mean, yes, Putin. Really frustrates me, but Bugs, I'm a big... I always say he's the big moment player. He wasn't in the last game. He might very well be in this game. Time's ticking away. As things stand, as long as nothing changes, we are going to be safe. Realistically, what's the point of messing about? Lots of time wasting. Let's just kill the game off. No messing about. That could cost me, and oh, come on, can we even win the game? Ooh, that would have been an interesting end to the game. Are we going to be safe? I think so, is that us safe in the league now? We just get confirmation there. I will leave that year to have secured parts of players in the top flight for another season. Well, there we have it, guys. We have managed to secure safety in the Premier League for another season. So that is not quite finished for the season yet, though. There's still one more task ahead. Three games to go with four points behind Southampton. Very unlikely. Very unlikely that we're going to be able to get ahead of them this season. So this will be going into a second, uh, fourth season. But I'll be back in just a moment at the end of the season to let you guys know whether we're going into a fourth season or whether it's mission accomplished. 
Welcome back from that draw against Norris. And as you saw in that game, we did secure our safety in the division for another year. But I did say that was not the end of the episode, as we had to see whether we managed to beat Southampton and complete our mission this season. And, well, just look at the league table there. We did not. Four points behind them, and those four points mean we're going now going into a fourth season. So we did get to the end of the season, and we didn't pick up another victory. I tried to get some morale with the friendly, but we haven't. We've picked up one victory in the last somewhat like 10 games. It really hasn't been a great end to the season, even to a point where something that's never, ever happened for myself before. I, the board, wanted to have an emergency recruitment meeting because of our extremely poor form, even though they've just, even though they've only bought the club recently, they're trying to sell it. And because of that, we have found ourselves, as we did just see there, 17th at the end of the season. But all that matters, eight points clear of relegation. We are in this division for another season, and it's time for us to kick on for the rest of the season. However, sorry, it's time for us to kick on to get ready for next season, where hopefully things will improve. However, in order for me to improve this team, I need a budget. I need a budget capable of providing for this team and taking it another step further rather than just scrapping relegation. That could be a problem. The board has given me 18 million, 18 and a half million, and I still have to slash my wage budget. We could be in with a big problem. I may have to sell a big player or two because that I'm not too sure without crippling the finances again and is enough to get us enough squad depth to improve this team to finally beat Southampton and any of the other South Coast teams that may come up um, at the end of the season. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed the season, our first season of the Premier League. It is a safety one. We have scraped it. Not made very many highs this season. Don't know how we've managed to scrape it, but we have only just. And it's time to look ahead to pre-season next season. Let's see what bargain deals again I'm going to have to pull off because that seems to be the case every season. This poor club needs more money and it just isn't getting it. But nevertheless, we keep achieving. We're going to go into a fourth season. One mission in mind. Beat Southampton and confirm that status as the best team in the South Coast. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe and like the channel and episode. And I'll see you guys for pre-season, season four.